all right hey guys on this video I'm gonna talk about NVIDIA drivers with Arch Linux and more importantly the NVIDIA all by fragging family I've been using Arch Linux on my laptop with NVIDIA RTX 3084 almost two years now and um, for the first few months of my usage of Arch with this laptop is actually there's a lot of uh, issues especially when got an update with the NVIDIA drivers sometimes I'll get a black screen sometimes the NVIDIA um, settings or NVIDIA SMI is not launching so as you could see here I have a I find the NVIDIA and I got the RTX 3080 laptop and on this one now is I, I'm running a Wayland now my I already experienced and like I said I had the issues so the only the only fix that I've been doing it before was I I installed the NVIDIA D DKMS now let me just NVIDIA uh, DKMS this one now what I did find out is the reason why whenever there is an update with a NVIDIA driver on Arch on official Arch repo is that I noticed that you could see here now for example here if you go to the packages and search for NVIDIA and you click of course the I mean I arranged the packages using the last update this last updated was the NVIDIA drivers in which you could see here the version that it's 5258502 however the NVIDIA utils and NVIDIA settings they are one less I mean the version is not the same and the last update here on this uh, NVIDIA utils is January 21 whereas the latest NVIDIA driver is January 25 and you can see here the NVIDIA DKMS is 25 so that was my fix or the one that I'm doing it before right um, and whenever I update I always had issues and then while searching the update or the fix I came to this NVIDIA um, NVIDIA all by fragging family now I'm not contributor nor I'm not affiliate with the fragging family but I believe they have done a lot in which I really appreciate with this guy's effort because they they're really doing their best to uh, for us to have a good um, um, what I call this good experience with the NVIDIA drivers on Linux and I've been using this NVIDIA all and ever since I don't really have an issue I, I never had issue to be honest so if we look at the package build you could see here I'm gonna show you later on and this link I'm gonna um, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna put it on the co on the description the this link and I'm gonna show you also how to install it's actually here pretty straightforward and by the way this driver is for all arch based arch based uh, linux apart or except for manjaro manjaro they have a um, very special way of doing things and to be honest i've been using manjaro before but 
as one week uh, I've been using only for one week and then I moved to Arch Linux which is way way more easier and like I said the uh, and, uh, uh, all the Arch base Endeavor um, Endeavor or um, what do you call this Endeavor, Arco, Archcraft and I don't know there's a lot of the Arch space Linux and I've been I'm using a NVIDIA oh, sorry I'm using a vanilla Arch or the Arch Linux only I'm not using any and my system is not a is not an arch based so for installing there is pretty straightforward here you have this one you can just actually copy here and then launch the, the terminal and then just type enter then it's gonna clone see the good thing here is you can choose also whichever driver that you have been in uh, that you wanted so for example the 525 85 and the latest Vulkan depth and there's also an older and custom version now let's talk about the custom version because sometimes you may need a a let's go to NVIDIA NVIDIA Arch On the on the NVIDIA Arch web page, it will show you here for the install appropriate driver for your card. So, the olders you have here, the uh, NVIDIA package or, or Kepler, all this, then you will have this. For example, three nine zero. So you have the older series here. Let's say eight. Let's see there. So 396 is there. So that's uh, that one. Now how can I go back here? Control C. So let's just redo, rerun it again. So I'm using here the latest 52585. Um, and then when installing on this one don't worry because the system will detect will detect the uh, if you have a other NVIDIA packages like for example you have the EGAL Wayland or NVIDIA settings any other which is concerning with NVIDIA it will automatically mention here if you want to, to replace now of course if you want to use this NVIDIA all driver then it's better to do to have it all from them because then they are maintaining this they are updating this and everything is automated so let's just choose the latest version and it's recommended here let me just so it's recommended here the the KMS so I'm gonna choose that one and then this is also asking do you want to use the uh, open card it offers only support for touring and newer and doesn't offer doesn't offer all the features of their property one so so I don't want to use it so I'm gonna say no and it's gonna download now the driver and gonna build it for you which is a good thing however one downside that I have found out here is it doesn't um, update uh, automatically even from the AUR because normally if you want to update your system you go ahead and run sudo pacman syu it will not be there and for AUR packages I'm doing I'm using Paru so I'm running the Paru SUA now it will mention here that package is not in the AOR this is the lib32 this is all from this NVIDIA uh, all 
package that I'm I installed and I'm using it now to my system so it's compressing here that's the only downside so for example if we had to the issues here I was skip I was reading the uh, earlier and then there was one question here way back May 27 2022 asking about the auto update and it used to be on the chaotic AOR but then it's no longer in there so that's the only downside so let me just so as you see in here looking for conflicting packages so if I have for example um, a NVIDIA from the from the package uh, official repo then it will show in here that you want it to replace so you know whenever you are replacing it so I would highly suggest you use this NVIDIA all because it's much much easier and I'm not, I'm not gonna run the installation because I have already installed on my system so that's all about it if you have a better solution for a for an arch base or any arch for the NVIDIA then please do let me know on the on the uh, comments and of course if I was right about the version of on, on this NVIDIA and NVIDIA components then please let me know if I'm wrong then please let me know also anyway I hope you like this video if you like it please like if you can of course share it and if you haven't subscribed then please subscribe and I'm just gonna uh, continue continue sharing the community what I have been doing which is not normally discussed or talk about in the internet so that's about it hopefully guys uh, you learn from it and take good care as always bye now